You know, I have definitely been very hard on AEW at times, just because I want the company to be the best it could possibly be, but entering into 2024 and looking at a pretty clean slate for what we have, I'm excited. So today I want to do a little bit of fantasy booking of the AEW World Championship in 2024 regarding the new champion Samoa Joe, how the Undisputed Kingdom will affect the championship picture, all of it. So let's get into this video. Now, full disclaimer, this is going to kind of be a loose fantasy booking here. I'm not going week by week. It's not going to be as in-depth as some of the uh, recent fantasy bookings I did, like the Royal Rumble matches and WrestleMania 40. This is kind of going to be me talking about the top candidates I personally think, and that if in my fantasy booking world, I would have the AEW World Championship picture really be focused around in 2024 and even 2025 for one specific person. Who that one specific person is opposing can really be determined one way or another throughout 2024. Let's look at the landscape right now because we have the new AEW World Champion in Samoa Joe. Very happy to see Samoa Joe as the World Champion over in AEW. And you know, talking about MJF, uh, which I do believe, obviously, he has re-signed with AEW, and I think he's just going to be taking a few months off because of his injuries. And when he comes back, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, red high. I think he's going to be doing great things in AEW. But it was definitely time for a mix-up at the top of the card. And I think this time away, and obviously the injuries suck, but like, just, I mean, talking about just the time away from television, is going to do some good for MJF, and it's going to help breathe, breathe, excuse me, some new life into AEW. And there's a couple of guys to look at as top contenders for the AEW World Championship in the near future. I, I just talk about in general, not necessarily in any, court, any sort of uh, pecking order here. Obviously, Adam Cole of the Undisputed Kingdom, the devil himself, talking about the AEW World Championship and the Undisputed Kingdom, you know, declaration on Dynamite the other night and saying that eventually Wardlow is going to challenge for that AEW World title. And when Adam Cole is ready to go, Wardlow will forfeit the title to Adam Cole. Now, obviously, I don't see that happening. It, it very much just seemed like already them planting the seeds for Wardlow to be a guy who is defected from the from the group can i talk today from the group eventually there we go and just kind of sidetracking from the world championship picture i can very much see when mjf comes back wardlow detracting from the undisputed kingdom group and realigning loosely with mjf not in the same role that we saw before as mjf basically his heavy but uh definitely a, a loose partnership here mjf and adam cole or mjf and wardlow i should say kind of taking out a com common enemy in adam cole because i expect you know a lot of you know a headbutt between cole and wardlow up until that point i'm just saying i can very much see that happening down the line and i can very much see you know whether it's Bullet Club Gold, the Acclaim, whoever, you know, aligning with MJF loosely as well, and that kind of being your big blood and guts match for the summer. Maybe somebody's going to get added to uh, the Undisputed Kingdom whenever Kyle O'Reilly comes back, you know, hopefully sometime soon gets added in there. I think that's very much a possibility. I don't know. There's just some loose ideas regarding that. And whenever MJF and Adam Cole is cleared to go as well, I can very much see a big triple threat match headlining a pay-per-view in 2024, maybe double or nothing, depending on if the time adds up. Samoa Joe, Adam Cole, MJF for the AW World Championship, I think just makes the most sense uh, and definitely would be a stellar pay-per-view main event this year. And even though Adam Cole and even MJF, when he comes back, are going to be some challengers for the title, I don't see either of them holding the championship in 2024. Again, going back to the little bit of fantasy booking, if you will, if I had my way, there's a couple of top talent in AEW that I would really make the focal point your top contenders and guys who very well may win the championship this year. And those top challengers, Swerve Strickland, Will Ospreay, Switchblade, Jay White, and then of course the champion Samoa Joe. Those guys mixed in with your other challengers would be the focal point because I just see the world and you're taking Joe out of the equation because he's been there, done that. But Swerve, everybody is, you know, realizing his popularity. He's one of the most popular guys in the company. And, you know, is, is get one of the biggest reactions of the night. If you look online and listen to the crowd, you think he's AW's biggest baby face, but he's still kind of a heel. I would definitely lead more into the baby face side in 2024. It just, you know, makes the most sense if the crowd's giving them that reaction well let's lean into that that's personally what i would do with swerve sometime this year jay white's in an interesting position because especially you know going after the undisputed kingdom on dynamite the other night and then we had that little uh stare down between bullet club gold and the acclaim jay white is a guy who part of you wants to say well he can kind of be your tweener but i think jay white 
uh, just being a, a top heel in AEW would be something very cool to see. So I'd probably keep him in that role for most of the year. And Will Ospreay is kind of the top of the top of these challengers. I do think will be the face of AEW eventually and is already kind of one of the faces, if you wanted to say that, when it comes to just star power, a big name in the wrestling industry. Absolutely. Osprey is a guy people are looking at to win the AEW world title in London in August at All In 2. And I definitely could see him challenging for the gold. And if in this fantasy booking world, I probably would have him challenge for the gold. But I don't think I'd pull the trigger again. And we're going to get back to that. But I think there's just a long story to play with Osprey. Still young in his career. Still, you know, pretty new to AEW. Even though he, he had experience in AEW beforehand. He just signed to the company in November. Now going to be full-time with AEW and obviously other companies as well. But I don't think there's any rush is what I'm trying to say. Putting the gold on him. So now that you know a little bit of where my mind's at. Let's get into some of this loose fantasy booking at Revolution in March. I would go Samoa Joe versus Jay White for the AW World Championship. Second time Jay White will be challenging for the gold in the last couple of months. Obviously lost to MJF at full gear. I would have him lose again to Samoa Joe. Now the second time Jay White is coming up short for the AW World Championship. Maybe down the line the third time will be a charm. Also at Revolution, it just seems where we're heading. Swerve Strickland versus Hangman Adam Page 3 completing the trilogy. And I would definitely have Swerve go over in that matchup. And I'm not saying you need to end this with some mutual respect between the two men, because obviously the rivalry got pretty vile, uh, especially with the death match that they had. But whether it's at Revolution or post-Revolution, again, start leaning in to the babyface side of Swerve, Swerve Strickland. The crowd wants it. The crowd's cheering him. If you just listen to that, you think he's one of the biggest babyfaces in the company. Lean into it. Give us face Swerve in 2024. And what is a lot of people calling for this year when it comes to Swerve Strickland? Him becoming champion champion in AEW and a lot of people are saying not just any championship but specifically the AEW World Championship and I would go that route as well I just think you need a new crop of guys as the face of this company you know MJF uh, had his year in the spotlight Moxley's been there the elite will always be looked at as some of the faces of the company but you have guys in Swerve Jay uh, Jay White, um, you know, Will Ospreay, Kanosuke Takeshina, I think you'd even throw in there eventually, even though he's kind of had a, you know, lukewarm up and down momentum in AEW, but I really think you need to start playing into some of these top guys. I'm not saying they haven't, but I'm just saying I would go more that way in 2024, if that makes sense. So Samoa Joe winning the title at World's End, I would have him lose the title at double or nothing in May to Swerve Strickland one-on-one. -on -one, and I think, you know, Samoa Joe, obviously, even though he's just a badass and everybody kind of likes him anyway, being the heel going into that, I think could make a babyface Swerve main event in the pay-per-view look like a million bucks, the win feel like a million bucks, and Swerve getting that stamp of approval on pay-per-view winning the world championship from Samoa Joe, I think would be great and everyone would love to see it. And then we lead to a very interesting situation because Will Ospreay, regardless of what role he's playing on AEW television, is going to get cheered and will be the babyface in London, England at All In because I would go Osprey versus Swerve for the World Championship main eventing that show. But I'll be honest here, I, I wouldn't have Osprey win first crack, especially because of Swerve. I don't want to see Swerve win the title in 2024 just to be a transitional champion to Will Ospreay winning in London, England. Would that be a great moment? Absolutely. But if, if Wembley every year is going to be something that AEW is going back to again every year, well then why does it have to be 2024 like I didn't think we were going to go back in 2024 and then they announced it that night that AEW would be back talking about last year's show and they're probably going to go back in 2025 and it's probably going to be a yearly thing not necessarily what I would do it kind of loses its mystique you know and it's special uh special feeling if we go back every year but regardless if that's what we're going to do why do we have to rush putting the title on Osprey just to have that moment in London when we're coming back in 2025? And again, I don't want to see this red hot baby face swerve just win the title in May at double or nothing and then kind of just already have an expiration date on his title reign to lose it to Osprey in August. I don't want to see that. So I would go Swerve Strickland versus Will Osprey in London at all in and I would have Swerve retain the AW World Championship. But we start Will Osprey's redemption story arc, you know, Cody Rhodes over the last year if it pays off at WrestleMania mania in an aew fashion kind of begins that night and osprey working his way from all in to all in to get back to the world championship matchup and i wouldn't have osprey challenge for the gold until then there's no reason for him at the end of 2024 in the 2025 to try to challenge again we know the end goal osprey winning the championship in london that is what we are building towards throughout 2024 
2024 and then even into 2025 as well. Now, of course, Swerve Strickland not going to hold the gold all the way from double or nothing 2024 to all in 2025. Who was the other guy that I mentioned earlier? That is Switchblade Jay White, who I do think will be an AEW World Champion eventually. He lost to MJF at full gear. He lost to Samoa Joe in this fantasy booking at Revolution. Third time going to be a charm, whether it's at Wrestle Dream, whether it's at Full Gear. Switchblade Jay White defeats Swerve Strickland to become the AW World Champion or at World's End, whatever they want to do it. But point is, end of next year, late end of next year, 2000. Why am I saying next year? I'm forgetting we're a couple days into 2024. End of 2024, end of this year, Jay White defeats Swerve Strickland to become the AW World Champion, and Jay goes on the long reign into 2025 to challenge, or I should say defend, his title against Will Ospreay in All In London 2025. And the time we get to All In 2025, Will Ospreay again, it's London, England, gonna be your top babyface, and Jay White, I think, I would at least like to believe in this fantasy booking would be the biggest heel in the company. And I know that's very far out, but like, that's kinda how you should be doing it. And that's that's how AEW was the first two years of his ex its existence. I don't think there's any coincidence that the first four AEW World Champions really Really just flowed so perfectly. You had Jericho, Mox, Omega, Hangman, and that entire time was Hangman losing to Jericho and, and 2019, and then it paid off in 2021. Like they long term thought about that. So why can't we long term think about this next group? Swerve, Jay, Osprey, Samoa Joe's kind of in there. Again, I'd love to see Takeshna in there as well. But point is, those really first three guys as your next three AW World Champions after Samoa Joe is the way I would go. And you might be saying, well, what about this guy? What about this guy? Again, we're focusing on the next few faces of the company in this fantasy booking. And listen, again, you can fill in some of the gaps. You can have some fun. Whenever Kenny Omega comes back, I do believe you do Kenny Omega versus Will Osprey round three with Osprey once again going over. Osprey, I want to see him just be on his own. No more connections to the Don Callis family. I'm not saying that's anything we've seen recently, but just no more connections to any of the past stuff he has done in AEW. He signed to the company, fresh start. He's going on his own and he's going to be one of the faces of the company. And just to touch on it, because I did see some some people say this on social media over the last few weeks or over the last you know couple of days since Samoa Joe won the world championship at World's End. A lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people, I saw a few people say that Adam Cole, when he's ready, uh, should defeat Samoa Joe for the world championship and then Adam Cole defends against a returning MJF at all in next uh this coming august and listen adam cole versus mjf i do believe most likely or just some multi-man match you know tag match whatever it's going to be but adam cole and mjf opposing each other at all in this year i think is most likely on the card i think it just makes the most sense one year after they fought in the main event but i don't think it needs the world championship the world championship has a lot to do with the storyline but you have a lot of time to build towards then and i think the world championship would just benefit being on some of these other guys opposed to cole and mjf who have already told the story mjf is going to be and, and has always been one of the top guys in the company without the title adam cole on disputed kingdom there's more meat on the bone there to have a story without the world championship that's just me but i'm looking forward to seeing what 2024 brings for aw man as i said at the top of this video i have been hard on the company at times you know everybody's got their own taste unfortunately aw for a while here and there just wasn't giving me my taste i'm a very story driven guy the, the, those are the things that get my creative juices going those are the things i want to sink sink my teeth into which is why i'm pretty intrigued with the undisputed kingdom stuff because i'm like oh now we got a story we can i can personally sink my teeth into everybody's got their own taste i'm not a big fan of wrestler a versus wrestler b i know you could still make a story in the midst of the match but i need a little bit more meat on the bone most of the time for uh, me personally so i'm looking forward to seeing where the undisputed kingdom goes i'm looking forward to seeing where samoa joe which everything he does is gold goes as aw world champion and again biggest priorities in this fantasy booking for me in 2024 would be establishing swerve jay white and will osprey as three top guys three faces of the company all future aw world champions so loose fantasy booking today but i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave your thoughts down below in the comments and who do you guys think should be the one to defeat Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship. Should it be Swerve? Should it be Osprey? Should it be MJF? Adam Cole? Wardlow? Whatever you want to see, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe and go follow me across all social medias at Noanation Vlogs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.